Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube page while we're previewing every game here of Week 16. So be sure to subscribe to my page here on YouTube to get all of my videos uh, delivered directly to your inbox. The Carolina Panthers will host the Oakland Raiders this week uh, down in Charlotte. It's a cross-the-country trip here for the Raiders, who are coming off of an impressive win. Impressive for them, I should say, beating the Kansas City Chiefs 15-0. Uh, on five Sebastian Janikowski field goals to improve their record to four and ten last week. Uh, the Carolina Panthers have now won three of four and are coming off of an impressive win themselves uh, traveling uh, across the country last week to the West Coast and upending the Chargers uh, 31-7 down there in San Diego and what was a surprising outcome to some, especially considering uh, the week before uh, the Chargers looked so impressive versus the Steelers. So you have two teams who have had disappointing seasons overall but are coming off of uh, good wins for them uh, in Week 15. Uh, the Panthers have won three of four. Uh, you have to be happy with how Cam Newton has kind of uh, you know salvaged this season in a way. Uh, this last half of the season, he's playing markedly better uh, than he was in the first half of the year. Um, so while he has not met him and his team has not have not max, met expectations overall, um, it's not a, a total lost cause and a lost season for them, which I think what was it, which I think was feared um, just maybe a month ago. I think what you'll see here now is. Uh, you got a guy like Ron Rivera, an offensive coordinator like Rod Chudzinski, where it was thought that they'd definitely be out at season's end. And I think if they can finish strong here the last two games and put a good end to this season, uh, being that they it was thought that maybe they overachieved a bit last year, that maybe they're given another year here. And that's why, you know, when people say, you know, a team, bad record, they have nothing to play for, you know, I don't think they'll come out motivated. Well, you know, I think that's a case-by-case -case basis here. You see some teams in the NFL who you know are going to mail it in the next two weeks. I don't think the Panthers are one of those teams for the reasons I said before and for the fact that you have a lot of young guys on this team that are competing for jobs on the Panthers. They're competing for jobs elsewhere in the NFL. You have to remember, these game tapes of all these games, they get circulated, okay? So while maybe there might not be a spot on the Panthers for these guys next year, Maybe there's a spot on another team. So I don't think you can ever um, sort of undervalue that and question guys' motivations until you see them go on the field and not try. And I don't think that's been the case here for the Panthers. So I expect them to kind of close out the season strong uh, with maximum effort these next two games. And I think that you'll see that they're a team that's probably uh, a better team man for man than the Raiders, that uh, the Panthers – will probably uh, come out with a win this week uh, versus Oakland. Because Oakland, uh, even though they won last week 15-0, um, they were still kind of unimpressive even in doing that, uh, mainly because of the team they beat. Uh, Kansas City might be the worst team in the NFL at this point. Uh, Oakland still couldn't score a touchdown on their defense. Oakland's a team that was maybe thought that they'd be the second team there in line to the Broncos in the N AFC West Sorry, this year. And that just hasn't materialized. Carson Palmer isn't a fraction of what he was maybe five, six years ago in Cincinnati in the prime of his career. And I think you're going to see that trade, uh, which was made before the current regime got here, that sent Carson Palmer to the Raiders for all those picks. Uh, you're seeing that trade sort of really backfire. Uh, you're seeing Cincinnati has sort of taken off as an organization since then, building around Andy Dalton, building around a young, good defense. Uh, building around a good receiver in A.J. Green, and you've seen the Raiders sort of take a step back. And from the Raiders' perspective, uh, it's really hurt them not having McFadden healthy for the whole season. The Raiders are only averaging around 90 yards a game on the ground. And it also uh, will bear watching, you know, what do they do going forward with the quarterback position? Carson Palmer is not Dennis Allen and Reggie McKenzie's guy. Uh, but they did give up a lot to get him. Do they give him another year? Do they see something in Terrell Pryor um, that they might want to develop here? Or do they go totally outside the organization and either draft a quarterback or uh, pick one up via free agency? So from a Raiders perspective, I think they're one of those teams that are sort of just playing out the string. Um, not that they won't try, but I just think their talent level uh, right now is so low. Um, and I think Carson Palmer um, is... One of those guys that 
he'll fool you. You look at his line, you're like, oh, he didn't have that bad of a game. But he's one of those guys that always fails the eye test. And it's been that way now uh, for the last two to three seasons. So I look for Carolina to come out motivated in this game at home. I look for them to come out and win this game. Uh, they are giving uh, eight and a half points, though, uh, to Oakland. So it's uh, Panthers minus eight and a half. I just don't I, – I see Oakland – Coming out a little bit and playing a little bit better than people think, uh, mainly their defense. Their defense has been absolutely dreadful at times, um, but I don't think they'll be as bad as people expect in this game. I think they'll be able to do some things. I don't think Carolina will be able to run on them. Uh, Carolina, based on the talent they sort of have in the backfield, I know they got a little burst from Mike Tolbert last week going back to San Diego, but... Um, you know, I don't think their running game is, is quite where people expected it. I look for Cam to have a good game, but I look for the Raiders to keep this close enough. So I look for uh, Carolina to win outright, um, but I like the Raiders plus eight and a half on the road uh, in Carolina this week. Because mainly because I, I don't I don't see that Carolina should really be an eight and a half point favorite um, against any team. So it's more of a pick in that direction. Uh, check out the rest of my videos here on YouTube. Uh, and always catch me on Twitter as well, at S News Analysis. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.